Hello, storytellers. There have been some pretty significant additions and changes to story maps in the last few months. So let's buckle up and dive right into what's new. I'll start with my personal favorite new feature, the ability to present a collection using a map. Collections are a great way to bundle related content, both from within story maps as well as from other places on the web. But because Story Maps is a tool for place-based storytelling, there are lots of collections where most or all of the items can be tied to a specific place. Now you can toggle on a map view for any collection, and assign each item a location that will appear as a point on the map. With the map view turned on, viewers of the collection can get a sense of how the content within the collection is organized geographically and browse it that way if they'd like. So now you've seen how to turn a collection into a map, but how about turning a map into an image? Or more accurately, using an image as the base for an express map so that you can treat it just like a map with choreography, media actions, and drawing tools. In the options for an express map, selecting image underneath base layer allows you to bring an image into the map to essentially serve as its base map instead of an actual map. Once you've done that, you can add features to an image and configure informative pop-ups. Then you can stage the image in all the ways that you can stage a map, such as adding media actions to allow your audience to interact with the image in ways that help immerse themselves in your story. Story Maps is great for telling your own personal stories, but that doesn't mean your stories can't be used as inspiration or even a platform for others. You can let anyone make a copy of one of your stories in their own account by checking the Allow Duplication box when publishing that story. But you can also go one step further and create a particular type of story called a template that is especially intended to provide a base that other storytellers can build upon. You can create and build a template much the same way as you would a story, with one important addition, an instructions block that allows you to provide guidance to anyone who might use that template to build their own story. When viewing a template, readers will have the option to start a story from that template. Any instructions blocks will still be visible in the story builder, but won't show up in the published version of that story. You can access your templates through the Stories tab of your My Content page. A drop-down menu can be used to filter templates or stories. You can also create a template from any existing story in your account. There are a couple of updates to the theme builder too. It can be daunting to create an entire theme completely from scratch. Maybe you like one of the standard themes that comes with story maps and just want to tweak it a little bit. Now, when you start a new theme, you can pick any of the five standard themes to use as the base for your custom theme. Once you start building your theme, you'll also notice a little bit of extra button customization you can now set the color of the text on the button to give it the best possible contrast against the color of the button itself. Last but not least, 
Let's not forget about Frames. There's been a big addition to these quick hit mobile authored stories in the form of a brand new template. In addition to the journey and timeline templates, the custom template adds an extra level of flexibility. Mix and match text only slides, map focus slides, or image focus slides, and use them in whatever combination and order you'd like. We're constantly looking to improve story maps in any way we can. As you're playing with these new features and old favorites alike, if you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to use the feedback form available in the help menu in the header.